Hello, my name is Mark, and welcome to 3D Printer Class for Beginners, Introduction to Tinkercad. In this class, we will make something similar to this. It's called a keychain with your initials on it. What we will need to do is be able to have a Tinkercad account, and I will show you how to submit your 3D file to be printed uh, at the Wheaton Public Library's Tech Center. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you will need to do is to create a free Tinkercad account. Go to your browser, type in Tinkercad, and then go to the website. Once you're in the website, if you don't have a Tinkercad account, then you will need to make one. Click on Join Now, and then uh, go from here to create your own personal account. You can either sign in with Google or Apple, or sign in with your email account, and go through the process of filling in this information. Once you're in your new account, go ahead and create a new design and then that should bring you to uh, your work plane where you will be able to put uh, your 3D design together. Now let's go ahead and familiarize ourselves with the work plane. Over here on the left, we have um, some buttons that we could press. This one's called Home View. Um, we have a cube here that represents the view from the work plane. Over here to the right, we have import and export buttons up there. And then we have our different shapes, the box, the cylinder, the spheres. And these are the simple shapes that we can work with on the work plane to put them together to create different things. And there's plenty of them. Uh, down here, there's a star. We're going to be using that later. And then in the center, we have the work plane. So if you put your mouse over the red box and you left click and hold, then you can actually drag the object out onto the work plane. And if you let go of the mouse, it'll drop it there. Uh, these white boxes, mini white boxes around the corner of the cube, if you click on that, tells you the size, 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. And you can tell it's millimeters because it's saying so down here. Uh, now, if you click and you hold on these little white boxes, and then you drag away with the mouse, you can actually change the shape of this box. Uh, if you click away from the box and on the work plane, it deselects the box. Another thing you can do, and it's crucial that you have a three-button mouse, a left, a right, and then a, a scroll wheel in the center. Uh, and so, so you can actually move the work plane. So if you right-click and hold on the work plane, uh, you can actually, if you move the mouse up, you can look under the work plane. And if you move it down, you can look over the work plane. And then if you move it left, it pivots the work plane, and to the right, same thing. And if you let go of that, and now if you uh, click on the wheel, press and hold, and then move the mouse around, you can see you can actually move the work plane. Um, another thing is if you ever get confused, you don't know what's going on or where the work plane went, if you come over here to the home view and click on that, it'll automatically reset the work plane for you. Uh, so uh, I would suggest you pause the video at this point, go ahead and practice uh, dragging objects out onto the work plane, uh, pivoting the work plane around to look around the objects, and become familiar uh, with this part of the Tinkercad website. I've gone ahead and copied and pasted the 3D keychain that we will eventually end up with. 
and put it here on the work plane, just to give us a reference and to see what we're working for. As you can see, we will end up with two keychains. Uh, one of them will have the initials of your name or a friend of yours. Uh, and in this case, I use the initials of the Wheaton Public Library. And uh, in this example, they are uh, the letters go through the keychain, and you can see the grid um, behind it. And the other keychain, this one over here, I don't know if you can see, uh, the letters kind of stand up a little bit. Uh, they are raised. So now, um, that's what we're going to work for. Um, so let me move them out of the way here so that we can have space to work on. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to change the name. Uh, Tinkercad uh, likes to give nonsensical names to uh, the objects. So we're going to click on the name field here. And then if you could uh, name it with your last name and then your first name, and then if you can follow your first name by typing in Tinkercad class and then we just click outside of the name field and that's going to be the new name for the object that we're working on so uh, your last name your first name and then followed by tinkercad class all right now what we want to do is we want to bring out the red box to work with so if you left click and hold and bring it out onto the work plane, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change its dimensions. And so if we click on this corner and then click in the number area, that should highlight it. And we're going to change this number and we're going to type in 60, 60 millimeters. And go ahead and press Enter. and there it is. And then we're going to change this one over here. And that one is going to be 30 millimeters. Okay. And then if we kind of move the box a little bit so that uh, we can see the height dimension there. And that one we're going to make 5 millimeters. Oops, didn't take. 5 and enter that will give us the dimensions of the keychain. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a cylinder. So left click and hold and then drag it onto the work plane. And the, dimen the, the dimensions of the cylinder are going to be um, five millimeters by five millimeters. And then the height is going to be 5.5 millimeters. So then now we are going to uh, find the letters, the text here. And then we're going to click and hold and drag it onto the work plane. And then we're going to change its dimensions. And the dimensions of the letters um, are going to be... Forty one millimeters by eleven millimeters, and then the tack, the height of it is going to be uh, five point five. All right, um, so that looks like a good size, but let's go ahead and select the letters again. And then if we come over here to where it says text and we click on this box and then let's go ahead and delete what it says there and we can type in our own letters. I am using the Wheaton Public Library initials. You can use your own initials. You, If it's a fairly short name, you can use the person's name. Uh, 
full name, like if it's Dan or Tim or whatever. Uh, but if it's a long name, you may have to shorten it somehow. Okay, so now we have the letters to work with. And now what we want to do is we want to scroll down and find the star. And the star dimensions are going to be 9 millimeters by 9 millimeters. And then the height is going to be 5.5. All right, so we have the objects that we need. Um, we will uh, go ahead on the next section and proceed on putting them together. Now let's go ahead and put the objects together in our keychain. So let's go ahead and grab the star and move it into the upper left corner of the keychain and we can do the same thing with the cylinder and with the cylinder you want to make sure that you leave enough space uh, at the corners uh, otherwise if you don't leave enough space the printout won't be that strong so something like that and then we can have the letters, grab them, and move them into the keychain. And there we go. Now we want to go ahead and make a copy of this keychain. And so what we want to do is make a bounding box. And the way you make a bounding box is you left click and hold outside of the keychain and then you drag the mouse and you encompass the whole keychain and then you let go and that selects everything. Then we come up here and the first option is to copy that's what we want to do so press on that and then we come over here next to it and it says paste and then click on that and that creates a new copy of our keychain and they're overlapping but if you left click and hold and then drag away the copy and there we go now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the cylinder and if you come over here and click on hole that turns that cylinder into a whole shape and let's do the same with the star click on the star and then over to whole and we're going to do the same with the letters very good and now we can come over here to the other keychain click on the cylinder part and let's make that a hole as well now to have these holes become permanent we go ahead and make a bounding box around the keychain. And then we come over here, and this symbol here means group, and that's what we want to click on. So if we click on group, now the holes become permanent, and you can see to the back of the grid. And let's do the same thing with this keychain. We select it with a bounding box, and then we click on group and there you have it now um, you are you get two keychains printed for free uh, with your Wheaton public library card number membership and so what we want to do is you can either submit both they have the same letters or you can change the letter of one and make it different. So if we click a bounding box around this one and we ungroup, okay, then we can click and hold, drag these letters out, and maybe you want to change the initials to this one because you're going to give it to somebody else. 
and then put it back in um, and then again we put a bounding box and we group them together and there you can have two different ones to submit to the public library to the Wheaton Public Library for printing okay in the next section I'm going to show you how to submit your 3d print uh, to the Wheaton Public Library and now we are at the home stretch what we want to do is we want to get this file ready uh, to be submitted to the library so the first thing we want to do is go up here and we want to click on export and here please choose dot stl this will download a copy of your 3d file into your computer then what you want to do is you want to go to the Wheaton Public Library homepage and here you want to go to about us down to Tech Center and then you want to click on 3d print once here you want to click on send file to print 3d uh, now this information you will need to fill out with your email address your last name first name and then here you want to select the color that you would like your keychain to be printed in um, now this is the tricky part you click on choose file and we want to go to your downloads because that's where your 3d file went uh, and then we click on uh, your file and then open and then that does an attachment here and then we want to click on upload and that makes it permanent uh, then down here if you can provide again your library card number and a phone number so that uh, we can get in touch with you just in case we um, have problems with your file once this is all filled out you click on submit and that submits your file to the library to be printed uh, just again so you know we um, by taking this class you get two keychains printed for free with your library card number and so um, you will receive an email when your keychain is ready to be picked up and you can come into the library and pick it up or because of um, COVID you can do a curbside pickup again thank you for uh, taking this class I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions let me know email me at mmarson m a r s o n at wheatonlibrary.org I can also send you a file uh, containing all the instructions uh, for this class in case you have problems following along with this video. Thank you again. Enjoy and have a great rest of the day.